Listen here, kids. I got some features to tell you about in this month's release of Visual Studio Code. So let's get right to it. Are you interested in an extension but don't want to interrupt your workflow? With the latest update, you can install one right now and see you're no longer required to reload VS Code afterwards. There are still some extensions that may require reload, but you can expect those to adopt the latest changes in the future as well. Allowing yourself to keep your hands on the keyboard is a key factor to improving your productivity. Being able to select just the right amount of text without the need for a mouse can help in this effort. Check out the semantic selection capabilities in HTML, CSS, and JSON. It allows you to capture the exact text to edit within the current context. A new tree widget has been introduced in the latest update to improve performance and provide new navigation capabilities. When a tree view has focus, you can start typing the filter or highlight selections that match what you've typed. If you'd prefer one over the other or to go back to a simple tree view behavior, look no further than for the keyboard navigation option in your settings. If you find yourself leveraging the Find All References action often, you'll be pleased to know VS Code will keep a history of them for you. This allows you to repeat the search more quickly without having to go back to the original reference you checked earlier. This is available through the command palette via the Show History command. Did you notice the keyboard shortcuts dialog or mouse click indicator shown throughout this video? This is due to the screencast mode feature which will display your keystrokes and mouse clicks automatically for you. It's particularly useful when you're doing demos or presenting code so that your audience can easily follow along with your actions. You can enable this via the toggle screencast mode option in the command palette. Alright kids, well, that's it for this month's release of Visual Studio Code. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share it with people, okay? Uh, see you next time. Happy coding, everyone.